my video just cut me off. <laughs> I was like, what? Okay, let me finish reading. Okay, I was, I was almost done. God has created you with the neat gifts, placement, and ability to make an internal impact on the world. If you step out of your bubble and look at the world around you, you will be quick to find where God needs you to move. Are you excited? Step out in faith and let God move through you. God, what do you want me to do? I'm all ears. Help me step out in faith and begin an eternal legacy for your glory. You know, in the Bible, it says that God looked down and there was not one. There was not one that did good. That there was not one. Like, he, like, literally regrets making us. That's why he did the flood. That's why he did Noah. And that's why he's going to burn everything with fire this time. Because he's looking down, like, these ungrateful, um, beep. You know, like God is love. Yeah, but he's also the God of vengeance and he's a jealous God. And he's looking down like I'm the one who created you. I'm the one who created the earth. I created all this for you. And it's you guys are literally destroying it. Forgive me for my part because I'm not innocent, you know. And that's why I spend every single day trying to live my life differently. And that's why I'm out here putting out these messages. It's not because I think I'm better than anybody else. It's because this is what I came here to do. I was like everybody else. We're come here. We're put here. We forget what we agreed to before we were put into the womb, which is our, our purpose, which is our, um, which is, um, like our mission here where we forgot and we we're put down into this matrix or whatever that they made it and you know we're supposed to evolve we're supposed to wake up and then as we do we come in to remember why we are here okay we're here to make a difference we're here to impact the world and then we're supposed to share with people what we know and what we've learned okay and and collaborate with other people and to make the world a better place. Like, that's what we were put here to do. But, you know, like, it's really just time to wake up, people. We were meant to evolve. Like, we were meant to evolve. Like, I don't understand how we're taught, whatever you're taught about evolution and this and that. But yet, somehow, nobody seems to think that we do. Like, oh, every couple of years, we got a new, oh, we got from one from 5G to 10G or whatever. Like, come on. For one, we're past way, all that, okay? But anyway, I've already said that in different videos. But no, as a person, why is everybody so comfortable with this stupid quote of history repeats itself? And that's why. Oh, it's the same sugar honey I see every day, same sh every day. You know, I used to say that too. Stop saying that. Look, evolve. Like, come on, people. Come on, everybody's out here doing the same thing, but you're not, you're not doing anything for, like, you're not doing good. And if you are, I'm not talking to you. Like, don't be offended. If you are, I'm not talking to you. Sometimes, you know, it's not like, oh, well, are you feeding the hungry? And you should be too, like, but I'm just saying, it's not just about that. It's not just about, oh, I'm giving money to charity or I'm doing this or I'm doing that. Sometimes it's just simple things like this, making a video, talking about your process and where you've been and what got you out of it and spreading the message to somebody else. Like, you know, baby steps, okay? Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Some people are meant to be teachers. Some people, like you said, are prophets. Some people are visionaries. Some people are, are whatever the gift you put into you, you have to find it. And you're not going to find it being on the crazy train with everybody else doing the same thing working dark demonic energy and whatever out here because that's not what you were created to be and you could, could try to tell you me and anybody else all day every day that you're happy but i know you're not i know you're not because when i was stuck in the cycle of insanity which is exactly what it is causing hurt and pain on somebody all day every day thinking you're making yourself feel better is such a lie you're in denial you're in denial you're in denial because hurt people hurt people. You're in denial. You might think for five seconds that it makes you feel good and it makes you feel like power. And for one, what does that say about you? That you have to hurt someone to try to feel power or that you have to always feel inferior over somebody. That's not okay. That's not healthy. You should work on that. You know, out here lying through your teeth to everybody and then putting on a smile saying the one thing and then turn around stabbing them in the back and setting them up 20 seconds later. Lord, forgive me when it was me. Just saying, like, we need to really get it together out here. I'm not going to stop saying it. I'm not going to stop talking it. And again, I don't think I'm better than anybody else. I'm trying to help. This is my, my purpose here is to speak the truth. My purpose here was, is to sit here and say what worked for me. Okay. 
that's that's what my purpose is i'm not trying to i don't think i'm better than anyone again i'm trying to help and if you don't like it then you don't have to watch my video that's fine that's fine if you don't like that i'm working on myself and i'm talking about myself that's a personal problem with you what does that say about you because why is somebody elevating themselves and working on themselves on a daily basis wrong how is that wrong if you're offended by that and if that hurts you that is the inner issue with you that you need to work on whether i've done you wrong in the past or not i've apologized many times and i'll say it again i'm sorry but i'm not going to keep telling people i'm sorry because my actions today prove that i'm sorry the fact that i've changed my life and continue to change on a daily basis and admit my wrongs and make amends shows that i'm sorry actions speak louder than words okay and holding on to guilt and shame like i've said in other videos only eats at you you're eating your own body alive you don't ever have to tell me you forgive me but you should forgive not just me whoever it is in your past whoever it is you should forgive it because it frees yourself and it frees your body and forgive yourself and ask god to forgive you and find something that is greater than yourself if you don't want to believe in god because at first i was like no i'm not calling it god believe in whatever just believe in the, in the fact and the, the thought that I believe or somebody else believes. That's what I did. I would go into meetings and they would tell me, if you don't believe in God, then just believe that I believe. Believe in something that is greater than you, greater than you. Believe in something that has power greater than yourself that can restore you to, 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 stand, to sanity. Because everything and everybody that I see out here is completely insane. And you know how I know? Because I used to live in insanity and it takes one to know one. And I'm not judging you. I'm just stating the fact. Takes one to know one. People, get off the crazy train. Where are you going? You're going full speed ahead on the crazy train down to Hades. Why? Anyway, I'm just trying to help you. I'm just trying to help you. With like, what did what did uh, Mac Miller say? Let's f all this BS and just make some music. Exactly. Stop all this fighting. Just collaborate. Like, oh my, the, the, like the thing is, is I have these people out here that are just so hateful and full of cruelty and making mischief devices. Imagine what your intelligence can do. So you went to college, you got that degree to sit around and play and smoke and mirrors. Are you kidding me right now? You went to college, you went to school, and you are so smart. And you're going to waste it on destruction and cruelty of the world because you feel like it gives you power. Aren't you smart enough to realize that that is not real power? I don't get it. And people out here bragging about where they went to school and I'm so this and this. If you sat me down and gave me an IQ test and gave them an IQ test on paper, it will show that on paper, it will show that you're smarter than me. Then why are your actions proven not? Care if I can spell or not. I'm t I mean, I care, but I'm just saying like some people just like, oh, she can't spell or she can't do this or she can't do that. But you can't even comprehend what I'm saying to you right now. You can't even comprehend simple things. People need to stop. On a daily basis, my intelligence is being insulted. <laughs> you need to stop because the things that you're doing are showing your lack of intelligence and lack of knowledge, like the Bible says, lack of knowledge, folly and, and lack of knowledge. Your pride and your ego is all blown up and your lack of knowledge. I don't care what school you went to. I don't care. Especially with... <laughs> get me started with the doctors but just as okay you're so smart and you are doctors are very intelligent okay psychologists every uh, psychiatrist you're smart you're smart you're smart didn't you take an oath not to lie to people so you're so intelligent and you're so smart that you took an oath to help not to lie to people to help help people right you took an oath didn't you then why are y'all lying out here why are you on the crazy train why are you lying to make a paycheck I thought you took an oath to help people. That's not what I see. You didn't help me. You try to call me crazy and say I was delusional. And then five seconds later, you want to congratulate me and say, oh, I'm glad you figured out what was bothering you, one doctor said. And then 20 seconds later, you call me crazy again in the next visit. And they call me completely delusional. Well, which is it? I've already proved the doctors wrong. And I'm talking about my my experience, okay? This is my experience. I could talk about me. I could talk about my life. I could talk about my experience, okay? And then you want to talk about everyone's, oh, my hero, my hero, my hero. And if, if you're not the doctor doing it, then I'm not talking to you. Don't take it personal, okay? 
don't take it personal okay monica out here like <laughs> i'm tired of it lies schemes scams smoozing that's it that's all that's going on out here in the world and everybody's so cool with it get off the crazy train I thought you were intelligent. Where is your intelligence? You might as well throw away your, your college degrees because you guys are acting like you have no knowledge out here. Oh, dark energy and evil and this and that. And I could do it and I'm pride and ego. No, what you got is ego. That's what you have. You don't have knowledge. You have ego. You need to get off your high horse and find knowledge, find truth, find God. Find something to believe in besides your, your money and your car and your house. And, and not saying that those are bad things. We need these things. Yes, I am very aware of it. But to lose your soul and gain everything, what is the, what is the point in that? To sit here and take an oath that you're going to help people and then you're doing the exact opposite and you know better. And once you know you can't act like you don't know, it's quackery. Anyway. I didn't mean to take it there, but hey, I'm only doing the job, my job I got told me to do, okay? All right. Anyway, protect your peace. Go out, get out in nature, sit and buy some water, enjoy the sun, get some vitamin D, okay? Sun is a cure all. The sun is a cure all. I'm going to say this one more time. I'm not out here trying to judge people. I don't think I'm better than anybody else. I know sometimes it comes off harsh, but I'm not going to just give you a pat on the wrist, okay? I'm not just going to be like, oh, it's okay. Da, 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 da. No, because that's why the world's like this now, because everyone wants to talk all, oh, baby, baby. No, no. I'm not the one that's going to give you your pacifier and change your diaper and put a bottle in your face. No, I'm going to tell you exactly how it is, because nobody has a problem talking about me and saying exactly how it is. So let me tell you exactly how it is. We need to get it together out here. No one had a problem saying it to me when I was a whole hot mess. Get it together. Get it together. Really. And all this hate, also all this hate that's being thrown around, like, <laughs> if you want to brag about how smart they are and how much more intelligent you are, but you don't even see on a daily basis that's, like, a lot of haters out here, which it surprises me because we always hear the story about the bully, like I said before, that always ri eventually rises up, right? And, like, takes out his the people that were bullying him. I mean, like, how do you not realize that some people that your hate and your, your dark energy that you're throwing – it's being transmuted in people like me and other people and we we transmute it into pure energy into pure light and it pushes us further so like you think you're doing damage but really you're helping you're helping but you don't you lack knowledge to understand that so are you a hater or are you a fan what are you I'm just saying, I mean, it gets confusing because you keep doing the same thing, expecting a different result, thinking you're doing something or in that you're hurting somebody and that, you know, you're distracting somebody from whatever they're supposed to do, but really you're distracting yourself because you got your quote enemy on your mind all day, every day. So who's the one distracted? It seems like you're distracted from your life. If you sweat on somebody all day, every day, you're the one distracted that you're not doing what you're supposed to do in your life because you're worried about me or somebody else. How does that make sense? Where's the knowledge? Lack of knowledge. How does that make sense? All day, all day. Four decades people have been doing that. I was cursed before I was even born. You spent four decades trying to stop me and worry about what my plan, what God has for me. You missed your whole life. You missed 40 years of your life worrying about me and trying to stop what God had for me. That's ego. You really think you're better than God? You really think you can stop God's plan for my life? You really think that? Man. You know, what could you have done different in 40 years? What is your legacy? Well, I spent four years trying to spend half my life. Uh, uh, forgive me, Lord. Forgive me. I'm not judging again. I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to help. God's wrath is coming. I'm telling you right now. Call it karma, call it whatever, like I said, but it's coming quick. You're going to be sitting somewhere when it's all said and done, wishing you just stopped, wishing you just didn't do it. You can ignore me if you want, but that's fine. I'll be used to it. Touch my, do my profits no, touch my noise not and do my profits no harm. 
tell you right now. It's not playing, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. I don't know if you can see this, but look how beautiful the water looks. It's like sparkling as I speak. You see that? How the wind's coming right at me and the sun's reflecting off the water. I don't know if you can see it, I'll have to play it back. Anyway, rant, 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 rant. Enjoy your day, people. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Spring has sprung. The new year is here. So let's act new. Okay? Can we make new all things anew? Let's act new because it is a new time. Okay? New Year's is not in January. Hello, spring. Okay? It is a new time. Can we act different? Are we still going to be on the crazy chain doing the same thing we've been doing forever because history repeats? No. Okay? Let's say bye to the old. And hello to the new, okay? It's time. Like, the time is nigh. Like, the time is nigh. Time for light. Time for love. All right. See ya.